baked spaghetti pie. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo facts. Twelve. Hello, everyone. First thing we're going to do is make the crust for our spaghetti pie. That's one half cup of breadcrumbs. And then adding to that, two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk and one third of a cup of finely chopped onions. You can leave this out if you don't like them. Two teaspoons of Italian seasonings, quarter teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick little stir and then you're going to blend in one pound of lean ground beef. You can stir it in by hand or with a spoon. Then you're going to take this mixture and put it into a 9 or 10 inch pie plate that's been lightly greased. Press it evenly along the bottom and up the sides of the pie plate. And then you're going to bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes until it's done. Until the temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit and it's no longer pink. Now while the crust is baking, you can go ahead and cook your spaghetti. That's four ounces of a spaghetti. Once it's done cooking, drain it and put it back into the pot that you cooked it in. Now to that, you're going to add a tablespoon of butter and stir it in until it's melted. And then sprinkle on a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and one beaten egg. Give that a stir until the spaghetti is well coated. Here's the crust just out of the oven. And if you'd like, you can kind of tilt it and let any fat drain off or use a paper towel and just dab any fat that might be on the surface. But if you use lean ground beef, there probably won't be very much. Then spread about a half a cup of pasta sauce on top of the crust. Add about a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, more or less to taste. And then pour that spaghetti on top, spread it out evenly, and then add more sauce. The recipe suggests another half a cup of pasta sauce, but I didn't think that was enough. So I added another half a cup to our total, about a one cup on top, but that's a personal preference. I spread that all the way to the edge, and then I added an additional about quarter cup to a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. And then you're going to pop this in the oven, and you're going to bake it for an additional 20 minutes or so. Once it comes out of the oven, let it sit for about 5-10 minutes and then slice it into pieces. This makes a really nice everyday kind of supper. It's a nice interesting alternative to regular spaghetti. And a lot of spaghetti pies out there that you will find actually use the pasta as the crust instead of the beef as the crust. So this one's a little bit different. At the time that I made this video, Ontario asparagus was in season, so I served some lovely asparagus with a good slice of spaghetti pie and some crusty bread for dinner. Ground beef is very versatile and there's lots of great recipes you can make with it. I've done many on my channel and I've put them all together in a beef playlist. And one of those is that you can see right on your screen right now is cottage pie or also called shepherd's pie depending on where you live. If you want to see my beef playlist, go ahead and click right on your screen or look for the link in the description box or click on the little eye. Bye bye.